Hello, my brothers and sisters. I hope y'all feeling blessed today like I am because every day is a blessed day. This is the day that the Lord has made and I am so glad and so happy to be a part of it and rejoice in it. Today is a good day. Today is a blessing day. Today is a giving day. Today is a loving day. Today is a praising day. Today is the day that you put your faith and your trust and your belief in Jesus Christ. Right now. Don't wait till tomorrow because tomorrow ain't promised to you. Don't wait till next week because next week ain't promised to you. Don't worry about waiting the next month, the next year, the next hour, the next second. Right now, today is the day for you to praise Him, to rejoice Him, but most of all, put your faith and your trust in Jesus Christ. Do it today. Do it today. And by you giving Him the praise and glory and by you telling Him that you trust Him and you believe Him, rejoice His holy name while you're doing it. Amen. Rejoice his holy name while you are doing it. In Jesus' name. Amen. And today's text is coming from the book of Matthew, chapter 16, verse 25. That's Matthew 16, verse 25. And today's message is, Jesus wants the whole house. When I say Jesus wants the whole house, he wants every inch of you. He wants your problems. He wants your mistakes. He wants your dreams. He wants every inch of you. But some of y'all are not giving it to Jesus. And you wonder why Why your house ain't got started building on yet. Some of y'all ain't have the foundation yet because you're not giving him everything what he wants from you. Do yourself a favor today. Jesus wants the whole house. He wants everything from you. Amen. Amen. And before I get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I just can't thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful, blessed day today. I can't thank you enough for everything that you have done and everything that you are doing. I can't thank you enough for the day as a day that I'm able to praise you even more, to glorify you more, to put my faith and trust in you again even more. Today is a day, oh, Heavenly Father God, no matter what my situation or circumstance look like, I'm going to give you the thanks. I'm going to give you the praise. I'm going to give you the glory. And that's why I can't thank you enough for everything that you have done. I can't thank you enough for everything that you're doing. I just can't thank you enough how you have your hands over every last one of us, that, that gift that you endowed in every last one of your children. I just can't thank you enough today, Jesus, because your grace and your mercy, you blessed us and gave us another chance and another opportunity for us to seek you, for us to praise you. But most of all, but most of all to put our faith and our trust in you, Jesus. And that's why I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm always going to continue to praise you. That's why I'm always going to glorify you. That's why I'm always going to lift your name up high each and every day. Even if I had to do it by myself, I'm going to give you the thanks. I'm going to give you the praise. I'm going to give you the glory each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And that's why I can't thank you enough, Jesus. That's why I can't thank you enough for what you've done for every last one of us. I can't thank you enough. You carry every last one of our sins on your back, Jesus. Well, you didn't have to do it. You paid the price for every last one of us, Jesus. You carry that cross for every last one of us, Jesus. And that's why I can't thank you enough. I can't thank you enough. Amen. Amen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get into this word. I would love for y'all to turn your Bibles to Matthew 16. And we're going to read verse 25. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive it. Shout out, amen. Amen, let's begin. For whoever wants to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for me will find it. What do you think Jesus is saying? Whoever wants to lose his life for me will find it. And the reason why you're going to find it because you lost your life. That means that you gave Jesus everything. That means that you gave Jesus all your mistakes. That you gave Jesus your dreams. You gave Jesus your goals. You surrender everything to Jesus. You even gave your interior and your exterior. You gave everything to him. And by you giving everything to him, that's when Jesus and his angels right then and there start building your house. And that's why you'll find your new home. But, the, but in the midst of all that, if you want Jesus to start building on your home, you have to lose your life. 
You have to surrender everything to him. You have to surrender your mistakes. He wants all your mistakes. He don't want some of your mistakes. He wants all your mistakes. He wants all your dreams. He wants all your goals. He wants every last inch of you. Don't leave anything out. Give it to him right now today. Then you will see the house that Jesus want to build for you. And once you do that, that's what the scripture said, you will find it. That's what it says. So whoever loses his life for me will find it. So are you willing to surrender everything to Jesus right now today? Are you willing to give Jesus all your mistakes right now today? Are you willing to give Jesus your dreams right now today? Are you willing to give Jesus the whole house, all your room, the interior and the exterior? Are you willing to lose it for him? Some of y'all don't mind. That's why some of y'all house only have a foundation. That's why some of y'all need a house it didn't even start to be built yet because you don't want to give Jesus all of you. You don't want to lose your life for Jesus. You don't want to find your new home. You don't want to find your blessings. You don't want to find your miracles. You don't want to find your financial breakthrough because you're scared to lose something. Give it to him today. Give him all your mistakes. Not all, some of them because he know all your mistakes. Give him your past too. Surrender everything to him. Give him your dreams right now. Give him your goals right now. Give him what he needs so he can build your house. Jesus wants all of you. Jesus wants the whole house. When he said he wants the whole house, he wants every last inch of you. He wants it all. He wants it all. Are you going to give it to him? Or are you going to just keep it for yourself? Some of y'all doing that. Some of y'all just keep it for yourself. That's why you're losing your own life right now. But once you give it to him and you're doing it for him, he's promised you. He said, you will find it. He's giving you a promise right now today, my sisters. He's giving you a promise right now today, my brothers. He said that you will find it. Because why? You lost your life for him. That means that you gave him the whole house. You gave him all your dreams. You gave him all your mistakes. You gave him your past. You surrendered everything to him. You even gave him your dreams. You gave everything to him. And by you giving everything to him, he said, you'll find it. That's why Jesus wants the whole house. And by you doing it, you will find it because that's what he's promising you right now. That's what he's promising you right now. This don't do it because I did it. I did it because I choose to do it. Because I believe in him. I trust in him. I said, Jesus, I'm giving you all my mistakes right now. I'm giving you all my dreams right now. I'm surrendering everything to you right now, Jesus. You can have it all. I don't want it no more, but I'm giving it to you today. I'm giving you the whole house, the interior, the exterior, my inside of my windows, the outside, the outside of my windows. I'm giving you every last inch of me. He says, son, you'll find it. I want the whole house. I said, there you go, Jesus. You can have it. Once you give it to him, then Jesus and his angels automatically start building on you right then and now. Are you willing to lose it today? Jesus wants the whole house. He wants everything. He don't want someone just don't need to say, okay, God, I'm just going to give you 80% of it. I'm going to keep 20. No. Okay, Jesus, I'm going to give you 90%, but I want to keep 10. Oh, no, I'm going to give you 99%, but I'm going to keep 1%. He wants the whole thing. He wants the whole thing from you right now today. Are you willing to do it? Are you willing to do it, my sisters? Are you willing to do it, my brothers? That's what the scripture says. Said, For whoever wants to save his life will lose it. And some of y'all are losing your life because you want to save it. You want to save your mistakes. You want to save your past. You want to save your dream. You want to save everything for yourself. You don't want to give it to them. That's why you're losing your life right now. I don't know who I'm talking to, but some of y'all are right now. But it said, whoever loses his life for me, mm, Whoever loses his life for me, where I find it. And I lost my life for him. And I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. I'm glad I lost my life for him. I gave him everything. My, my mistakes, my past, my goals, my dreams. I gave it all to him. He wanted my whole house. I said, there you go. You can have it. Do whatever you want to do with it. Do whatever that you want to do with it. I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, according to this word right here, according to the law, 
It says, whoever loses his life for me will find it. Are you willing to find your house? The only way that you're going to find your house, you got to lose your life. Lose everything for him. And by you doing that, I mean, he's going to start building on your house. He's going to start building on that mansion that's already meant for you to have your name on it. Are you willing today to do it? And if you are today, my sisters, amen. And if you are today, my brothers, amen. I don't know who I'm talking to today, but this message today is clear for someone today. Amen. Amen. Before I close <clears throat> this message today, I would like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life, to take over, to guide me, direct me, and use me so I can build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus by y'all praying that simple little prayer that God is already working everything out in your life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me, leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is with it, I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. In Jesus' name, amen.